Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Responds, where we read the comments that you left on Skate Line. Start. Bird is the word underscore nine. Says that thunder clip got to be the hardest clip I've ever seen. It's a pretty good line. And uh, Miltano has been around for so long, and I didn't realize he had that level. Tech re- I knew he had creativity, but the back when he nose grind big heel, I was like, wait, what? He really? He like that? And then you see that whole line, you're like, all right, there you go. He's good as hell. Mon 40 ounce says, Dubai is Nyjah might be the most accurate comparison Gary has ever made. That is dead on. Yeah, that came out of nowhere and I felt it. I felt it deep. I, like in my head, I was like, this is correct. Uh, he really is the one up you ain't human of all time. Like, like, and I take it back to when he tried to backside flip El Toro. Y'all know that him and Sheckler have that underground beef that not many people knew, but like down south past LA and like that little rich cup people, they was beefing. So Nigel was like, oh, you wanna, okay. And that's the most one-up shit I've ever seen. You gonna go try something. He was right, shot, Ryan's dumb for saying it and Nigel's dumb for almost doing it. So that, yeah, he's the Dubai of humans. DB Cooper 8628 says, I could watch Grant Taylor and Zion Wright skate for eternity. Love both of their styles and how athletic and hard charging hard charging they both are you know what zion is like charging you can see it like in the pump in the float grant is gracefully gaining speed flying through the air without effort while trying it's not charging i don't know what that is you know how like there's the apple charger with the good the c that's what grant taylor's doing it's instant and it's easy and you don't really understand just a bigger block for some reason i just and you just change the beginning hole and all of a sudden my phone is good in 20 minutes that's grant taylor agrigo 8037 says gary i ain't been happy in ages your hype keeps me alive bro take care damn bro if you genuinely mean that um i love to bring the hype for you and anybody else that needs it you know what i'm saying still trying to talk to you, say these jokes talk this shit have this fun but um i really hope that you are all right and i am taking care and hopefully you are too Kevin Alamo 4250 says, Darrell Stanton was on that same stiff ass, not moving his, <laughs> not moving upper body thing going on. Loved his skate. Darrell Stanton did have the arms down thing. However, Daniel Espinosa, Nick Trapasso, Antoine Dixon. See, I don't really, nah, Darrell, he had it. He, he did have that chill ass stuff. I can't sit there and try to say he wasn't like them, but those three, right now (laughs) Roy Batty 40 45 78 says I've been calling him Gran Turismo since he first got on anti-hero fuck dude Gary is the coolest oh shout shout out to you man now Grant Taylor is and then they got a Gran Turismo movie coming out too and I don't know if it's about the video game or them actually driving so that confuses me but Grant Taylor is the greatest of all time you see how that's my brain works none of that made sense but it still did at the same time they are having a Gran Turismo Brian Dentian 7608 says, we need Skateline Plus offering. We'll pay for outtakes, extended edits, behind the scenes, and the story of how the stain got there. Just cause you're lying to me, you won't pay that $9.99 a month. I got my hair done one time, leaned back like this while I was waiting for the focus to get ready. Side I take. <laughs> Captain Hodge 298 says, not a word about Frankie Villani. Fucking love that guy. Love that guy too. Fully talked about him. He ended the episode the week before this one. Or this one. No, the week before this one. Yeah. Shout out Frankie. Hello, 1982 says Manta style, Tiger style, Drunken style, and last but not least, Jazz hands. Stry you. I, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah. For sure, all them styles. <laughs> uh, Diesel Car says Gary, somebody needs to remake Cool Runnings with some kid going to Brazil to recruit some Brazilian volleyball players. What, bro? With some ups to win women's Olympic skateboarding, led by a fat Rob Deerdick. Oh, volleyball players with some ups. Oh, you mean like ups, like bounce to win Olympics. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, how they took the, the, the runners and they was like, be on bobsleds. You want girls that can ju- run and jump to start skating. And Rob Deerdick's John Candy leading these girls to the promised land. That movie's not gonna do well in the box office. Tell you that right now. Be a cultural phenomenon. OJ Hemis says, lost to that major pain. L O L O L O L O L O L O L O L. One of my favorite movies of all time, bro. That movie right there. 
All right? I used to pop it in at my auntie's house because I didn't have it. My mom wouldn't let me because I would keep watching all day. I used to pop it into the VCR, watch that shit over and over and over and over again, and go, eh, 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 eh. I was like four. Eh, eh, eh. I just thought Damon Wayans was one of the greatest people all day. Bro, he was so funny. And he wasn't like that. I seen other movies, I was like, he's not like this. This is too good. He was so mean. He broke the finger of the dude and then put it back. Oh, man, that movie is a classic. Major pain. Y'all go watch it, kids. All you bad behavior having kids, imagine if you got sent to a real person like this. It would straighten you out, for real, 100%. That's like scare straight army style. This wraps another episode of Gary Responds. Shout out to Major Pain. That's a classic. Two links. Tubby, tubby. One linky linky. Two. <laughs> that shit is so good.